Hello YouTube, this is Real Life Reviews on the Living Bread Homestead. Today we're going to be reviewing this Camplux portable water heater. This is the BW264, 264 just meaning that it is 2.64 gallons per minute. Let's get into the video. Right off the bat, it's a fairly simple device. It requires no electricity, but in this cavity here is 2D batteries. Whenever the cold water comes in, the igniter engages and then the burners on the inside heat the hot water and the hot water comes out. This is a really simple setup. If this was outside, in which we're gonna talk about why it's inside here in a minute, but if this was outside, this would just be your standard garden water hose and then this would be the hose that they give you that goes to your shower head or, or what have you. Since mine is on the inside of the house, I have plumbed it with just three quarter inch standard PVC this is your cold water line coming in, hot water line coming out, and like I said, this is the uh, propane line coming in. Now, before I go any further, let me just tell you right now, you are not supposed to have this item inside your home unless it is plumbed. Now, the manufacturer and everybody will tell you, it's just a known fact that if you are burning liquid propane inside this housing right here, you're going to emit carbon monoxide, which is very dangerous. It will kill you. It is odorless, it is tasteless. You will not even know it. So I did plumb mine outside. I'll go into the plumbing a little bit later. And I do have an additional uh, safety measure here, this first alert carbon monoxide detector in which I do test it before I use the device and every single month just to make sure it's a part of the PMs that I do around this house. I did plumb it right here to go over to a sink that I have here and I have plumbed it to go into uh, any kind of container. I have a cooler here for testing and then if you follow up the wall here you can see I have another shutoff valve and then it plumbs over to this shower stall right here. Now the shower stall isn't used very often, more or less it's for bathing the dog, but this right here is for when we have normal water. And let me explain to you what normal water is. So when we first moved here, there was a gas hot water tank, but for some reason it was out of service and the homeowners previously had installed tankless hot water heater. The problem is, is that on this homestead, we are remote and we do lose standard utilities all the time, whether it be for rain, snow, ice, wind when we do lose utilities we lose hot water so even though i have a whole house generator it will not power the tankless hot water heater because it is 120 amps let's talk about how it works so right now you see that i have it on full if we were in economy that would only be using one burner but if you go to full, which uses more fuel, you go to two burners. Now, obviously this is self-explanatory. If you're on minimum, you use the least amount of gas. And if you're on minimum here, you use the least amount of water. So let me turn it on and I'll show you what I'm talking about. 77 degrees output. Let's take a look at the shower. Well, the output is stating that it's 77 degrees, but as it travels through the pipe and it comes to the shower head, it's holding a constant 74 degrees. Now, let's go crank it up just a little bit. Let me show you how. You saw the pressure coming out, that standard pressure. What we wanna do now is we wanna take it over to full and light the back burner up. See the burners? So the second burner just came on without moving the water input. Let's see what happens. Bumped up to 79. You're still on the minimum fuel though. Crack up the fuel just a hair to say about an eighth of a turn makes a huge difference at an eighth of a turn so we're at minimum water eighth of a turn on fuel and on the full setting 118 degrees 120 that is very very hot at 122 degrees output if I can hold it still about 120 degrees that's coming out so keep in mind, we're at 122 degrees, 120. It's fluctuating a little bit. If you crank up the water, it has to heat. If you call for more water, like you just heard it crank up, then the temperature is obviously going to go down because more water is flowing through the system and the burners can't keep up with it. So yes, you're getting stronger water, but at what cost? Obviously, if you crank, listen, that's all the way up. So you're about an eighth of the way in on full, and let's see how it keeps up. So I know you all wanna see what happens if I have it on full, full water, and max output. 
So we just crank the fuel up as far as it will go. Looks like it's at about 99 degrees. Let's see, let's give it another minute or so. Let's give it just another minute. Still 99 degrees. This has become an absolute necessity in our homestead uh, because our power is so fickle. Now, taking a shower isn't the only thing that we're gonna do with this machine. Let me show you here. You can see earlier, I plumbed it down to go into a bucket in case we need to wash dishes. Or if you come over to the sink area here, I have it plumbed right there. All I have to do, if it's a, gonna be a long-term situation, okay, then all I have to do is just glue that on and open that valve, open another valve over there, and then we can wash our hands here or wash, wash dishes or whatever we need to do in the sink. But I keep this up here for now. That's a double wall, four inch pipe. It's not hot. Down here at the base, it's extremely hot. See? And do you see that? It's extremely hot where it, it must be vented. And as soon as, you watch this, as soon as my laser, let me show you something. As soon as my laser goes up on that pipe, look at here, instantly drops off. And I do have it plumbed outside of the top of my basement. This is a five star review all day long. Certainly does the job, keeps us hot. It certainly gives us a peace of mind. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to please drop those down. If you like content like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to our channel. We'd love your friendship. And if you like this video or wanna go back and look at this video again, all you gotta do is hit that thumbs up and it will, it will store this video in your liked videos. I'll leave a link in the description box below the video in case you wanna take a look at it, but it has definitely been a game changer for us and I couldn't be more thankful. Until next time, Lord bless you. Uh, we'll see you later.